<laughs> An old friend and new dog, Montana's Prairies, summoned us back to break in my pup Manny with the help of Al Gadori of 6X Outfitters. Fellowship for us, high adventure for the young wire hair, what's not to like? I'm Scott Linden, and today as the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA, we have our best shot at sharp-tailed grouse. It's early in the season, so I hope they'll hold for six-month-old Manny's first points. Maybe they had a lot of trees when they named it Big Timber, but right now it's endless prairies. But that's the good news, full of sharp tails and huns. I hope you enjoy this show. We had a lot of fun with our good friend Al Gadori at 6X Outfitters. Hey, if you'd like to have some fun with us, we're going horseback hunting for chuckers and huns in Northeast Oregon at the Ruggs Ranch on the Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes this year. Go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win. Big Timber is an old railroad town, now a crossroads for celebrity fly fishers and hardcore bird hunters. Surrounded by vast plains rolling toward majestic peaks, it's a fantastic base camp smack dab in the middle of the upland nation. Al leads off with Ellie, a big running setter who knows these skittish birds well. My veteran wire hair buddy gets the first up this morning. Worn out from a couple California hunts, he'll run a little closer than Ellie. Al scouts hard and knows the behavior and hangouts of prairie grouse. If you've ever doubted the value of a pro guide, spend a day with Al and you'll right, be enlightened. So what's the plan here? Well, we'll head up towards the crazy mountains. Uh, I, I would expect the birds to be in the high spots in this alfalfa field. Um, they could be anywhere from 100 to 300 yards from this fence line. Why in the high spots, Al? They like to look around. Oh, yes. You know, Watch for predators. Yeah. 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 You know, if I didn't know where to hunt anywhere, I would go to a high spot. Yeah. Uh, or along a fence line. because. Out here, it's the only place they can get away from a hawk if they get under a fence post, because there just isn't anything else. Okay. Uh, and just for the record, we're not going to the crazy mountains because of me. Mm -hmm. Buddy, hunt them up. All right. All right, Ellie. And they have a happy wire hair today. Oh, man. <laughs> Sharpies are like the pronghorns they share these plains with. They can be anywhere at any time, so stay on your toes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Ellie's on point. Oh, uh, right over here. White dog on point. Let's see what Buddy does. He might crash in. So, how do you want to approach the shy flight? I'll, go, the I'll go right, you go left. Got it. You're a good boy. Buddy's on. Buddy's, Buddy's got, got a bird working here, too. Maybe the same one. Oh, boom! You got it, Al. Good girl. She's got it. There might be more. Ellie, Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Ellie, Ellie. What a good girl. Good dog. Well, that was neat. It's our first sharp tail of the season. Oh, that is cool. She caught this end of the covey and Buddy pointed the other end. Mm -hmm. It was nice work all around. Hence the name. They're the young of the year, maybe? What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh! Dog, dog, yep. dog. Yep. <sighs> that always happens. There's always one straggler hoping you'll go away. <laughs> there may be more stragglers. I wouldn't have hit it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, birds yeah. always lead to birds, so. Yeah. We should follow them. Make a note of that, Scott. Birds mm -hmm. always lead to birds. Buddy, mm -hmm. you're the good dog. She's already glommed onto that axiom. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yes. Buddy, wait! Yeah, well, I don't normally expect to start a sharp tail hunt so soon. <laughs> well, we picked a good place to park. That's the value of 6X Outfitters. You need to breed the longer legs into that setter there. <laughs> Ellie's done growing. She's working on something. There she's Look, got you him. go. Almost got it. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Just watch him. Dang it. I shouldn't be taking shots like that. That's embarrassing. Buddy thinks I killed it. Not yet. 
Well, the line is between that telephone pole and those hay bales. He's about 500 yards. Oh, good. He'll be between us. Uh, we'll get him. Now, do most of us walk too fast through this? Look at this. Here's a roost. Oh, well, my God. Look at all of this. It depends on the dog yeah. and the cover. Uh, you watch the dog. If the dog's moving behind you or yeah. making just very short casts in front of you, it doesn't have time to work the cover. Yeah. You being an angler, too, you can relate. The first thing we want to do when we catch a fish in a spot is make another cast at that very same spot. Right. I think Ship we point, got a, Maybe? No. Almost the point. Tighten your boot laces. Miles to go before we sleep here on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you in part by the National Shooting Sports Foundation and its initiative, WingShootingUSA.org. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter of fishing, hunting, and outdoor gear. Happy Jack, kennel-tested dog remedies. Truck Vault, secure vehicle storage solutions. And the Upland Nation Preferred Lodges. Visit PreferredLodges.com and book your trip of a lifetime. Al Godori calls his uh, business 6X Outfitters. He guides fly fishers in the summertime, and 6X is a very fine tip at the end of your fly line. Also very fine is the country that we're hunting near Big Timber with Al. Had a great time. Thanks again, Al, for letting us come back again this year. Hey, if you'd like to come back or visit for the first time, we're going to Northeast Oregon's Ruggs Ranch in the Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes this year. We're going to be on horseback for Chuckers and Hungarian Partridge. Just go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win. While you're there, ask me a question. I might read it on the air, and I promise to answer every question at our Facebook page, including Stan Gilbert's question. We usually let our dogs cool down before we feed them on the hunt. Now my friends are telling me to feed them immediately. Stan will have the answer to your question right after this. Here's some of the gear I like for this type of hunting. Fausti Dea SL 20 gauge shotgun. Kent Cartridge's fast lead ammo in size 6. Filson tin cloth game bag. And distilled water to wash the gunk out of my dog's eyes. Download a free copy of the Ultimate Upland Checklist at scotlindenoutdoors.com. Now, you, you were talking as if most of the time these birds don't run when they hit the ground after, after that. Young birds early in the season tend not to run. Oh. If it's an older bird, it'll run like a pheasant. All right. And later in the season, they all run. <laughs> Some sharp tail food just landed on my gun barrel here. Yeah, most of them are still eating grasshoppers. Usually the young will, will do nothing but, I'm sure. Do they ever eat this greenery? Yes, they They'll like alfalfa, but, yeah. but they like uh, grasshoppers better than anything. Mm, so do I. I don't see what they like in it. <laughs> Yeah, watch Buddy out here. Yeah, I'm hoping we'll fly it before it comes in to blow it for us. Good girl. I think it was left over. <laughs> well, Ellie. All right. <laughs> We're getting further from him every time, not closer. <laughs> That's a point. Oh, no, it's not. There, she's on. They're both on. Al, you shoot your white dog's bird. Mm -hmm. I'll shoot the gray dog's bird. Well, I think it's the same bird. <laughs> Boy, there and then gone. I think he slipped away. I don't doubt it. You can see why trainers bring their dogs out to the prairie for young sharp tails early in the summer. They won't tolerate anything like a dog getting too close. Really good for young dogs. Ellie's getting tired. It's yeah. time, time to put get her, her back to the truck. It's time anyway. to put her away. Yeah. Let's keep things in the family, times two. Al goes to the bullpen for Ladybug, Ellie's daughter. Meet Three Devils Linden's wingman, Manny to his friends, and by the way, Buddy's grand nephew. Watch his nose wake up here on the Montana prairie. Hunt him up.
So, show me where your dog is. Well, she's uh, 184 yards away, and now she's on point at 167. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> About there? <laughs> yep, straight west. Well, I know she'll hold, but will the bird hold? I love this stuff. You never know what you're gonna get up either. Come on, Manny, find a bird. Manny! Good shot, Al. I didn't dare go any lower. Mm -hmm. Manny, get it! His first sharpie and his first retrieve. Well, it can only go downhill from here. Oh, wow, you are the best! Good boy! Good dog! Good dog! You are a good retriever. He backed that. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, that's a good stuff. Thanks. Good dog. You are the best. Mm-hmm. That's that sharp tail we marked down, so I think. <laughs> this is where I think we should start getting into birds. You can see the cover's getting thinner. Yeah. Montana uh, is hunter friendly, so you'll feel right at home in your muddy boots. Their block management program opens vast tracts of private land to hunters for free. Al Gadori eats, sleeps, and breathes it, shoots classic side-by-sides, and will walk your tail off. But that's how you find birds in Montana, picking them up and putting them down. The pup makes his first find and you're there for it, coming up on Wing Shooting USA. When you hunt with Al Gadori, you better bring your best walking shoes because you're gonna cover some ground, that's for sure. If you'd like to cover some ground with us, in the Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes, we're headed to Ruggs Ranch in Northeast Oregon. We're gonna be hunting on horseback for chuckers and hunts. Go to wingshootingusa.org to enter to win. While you're there, take the survey and ask me a question, just like Stan Gilbert did, about birds, bird dogs, or in this case, when to feed your dog. I went to the guys at Purina for the answer to this one. It's very clear to me as well from experience. If you feed your dog within a half hour of the end of the hunt, that dog's muscles will take up as much glycogen from the food as possible. Be ready to hunt at at least 95% of their endurance level from the day before. Congratulations, Stan. You've won the Real Bird Bumper for my signature series dog training gear. Buddy and Me is brought to you by Truck Vault. Buddy is a handful, always testing me. Yeah, even an adult dog can be a pain. Now, his nephew Manny, even more so. But no matter their age, sometimes you have to intervene, whether it's aggression, disobedience, or just some annoying behavior you want to stop. We can use the e-collar, check cord, or lead. We can scream and yell, and sometimes they all work. Here. But I've discovered Here. another way to break Here. the bad behavior cycle. Pick him up. Yep, getting all four feet off the ground, changing his direction, might also change his mindset. Sure, it's a bit disorienting, but that's what you want. Walk. He can't easily continue doing what he Walk. was doing. And wasn't that the idea? Mark? Once he's uh, Buddy, grounded it. again, you can continue with training or maybe just enjoy a little peace and quiet. It was easier when Buddy weighed 20 pounds, but it's still better than a dog fight or having to break a bad habit once it gets started. Oh, You're a good here boy. comes one, incoming. Good shot, Al. Here comes a bunch. Did you see that? <laughs> Here comes another one. It's way out. It happened too early this season. <laughs> it's the one time you'll see that, that's for sure. Manny! That's a young one. Did you shoot one that time too? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was like an incoming sporting clay shot. Yeah. Manny, here! Not that he'll come. <laughs> he's pretty proud of what he's oh, got. Oh, that's the problem, all right. <laughs> Manny! Then he outruns you. <laughs> well, yeah. Manny, Manny! <laughs> oh, you're the best. You'll learn to retrieve real soon. Um, two birds, 
one stone. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. After that little adventure, Al clued me in on how to get young dogs to drop a bird. Good shot, Al. There might be more. What a dog. Get it, Danny. Get it. What a dog. That's a good, sort of good boy. <laughs> You're the best. Come on. I didn't hey. think Al's suggestion would come in handy so soon. Manny. Thanks, Al. <laughs> You're the best, Manny. Every time I spend uh, any time with you, Al, I learn something. I'm good. Oh, what do you think she's doing there? Hunt him up. I guess I'd best be ready. I don't think those are the ones we flushed. I think that's a different bunch. Wow. Good year for sharp tails. Yeah. <laughs> <Arr>! <laughs> Well, the good news is, Manny is learning not to chase. <laughs> Closer to the crazy mountains, we find pronghorns, but will we find huns? Find out when we return to central Montana next on Wing Shooting USA. No room in the vest for a pronghorn. I wish I knew who said it first, but it's true. You kill birds with boot leather, not with bullets probably uh, more so in Montana when you're hunting the prairie than anywhere else I know. If you'd like to join us, we're going to Northeast Oregon next season for the Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes Grand Prize. Enter at wingshootingusa.org and you could be joining us on horseback at the Ruggs Ranch near Ruggs, Oregon. Truck Vault cares about conservation canines and kids. The AKC Canine Health Foundation is one group that wins when you vote at truckvaultcares.com. You could win anything from a truck vault to a Fausty shotgun. Tell your friends, too. Every vote raises money for six great groups thanks to Wing Shooting USA and Truck Vault. That's plenty of excitement for Manny, and Biscuit needs a run, so a move to Hungarian partridge habitat is a good time to swap dogs. Let's see how they do in this sparser cover. While Al's working on that collar, I'll try to explain just once what this is all about right here. Now my left eye is stronger than my right eye, they call it cross dominance, and you might be as well, in fact 10% of Americans are. What it means is I should do everything left handed, but I learned to shoot right handed, so instead of learning to shoot all over again for the third time, unsuccessfully. I put this patch right here, and it obscures the left eye just enough to where most of the time, my right eye will take over and become dominant when I shoulder my gun. If you're gonna try this at home, the trick is put the patch so that when you shoulder your gun, you cannot see the muzzle. I'm surprised they're still using those round bales. Why, why does that surprise you? Well, in Oregon, they're making them against the law. You know why? Cows can't get a square meal. Right. <laughs> I've chased a lot of wild birds, but these Huns were by far the wildest, most paranoid I've seen. That looks like the real hey, thing. Hey, hey, wow! Good shot. Good shot, Al. Yeah. All right, buddy, of course, when Went for the fresher one. That's good because I think that's a cripple. There's the other dead one right there. Yep. But he's got it. Okay. Uh, keep your mark on this bird on the right. Got it. I'll go down to the water. Got it. And uh, with Biscuit. Biscuit, 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 fetch it, fetch it. <laughs> Come on, fetch it. Biscuit. Buddy, fetch. here. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Here. Buddy, here. That's good. Get it, here. Thanks. <laughs> Biscuit, here. Here. Slow down, buddy. Biscuit, slow down. Slow down. Good boy, buddy. 
These are called Canada thistle. They will stick all over a long-haired dog. And when they do, sometimes all you find is this part. And some people will call it Velcro plant or porcupine eggs. Excellent. Oh, there goes the single. Coming your way. That would have been a fluke. <laughs> Dead in here, Biscuit. Dead in here. Good girl. That good. Here, Biscuit. That a girl. That a girl. Thank you, Biscuit. Thank you, Biscuit. Well, on a day like today, if he shows me the dead bird, I'll take it. Thank you, buddy. Well, he retrieved, found a couple birds, and hasn't asked for his own agent or his own trailer yet. Manny's debut was positive in many respects. Good boy. I can't think of a better place to introduce a pup to birds than Montana. Add it to your bucket list, bring plenty of ammo, and all your dogs. Ross Young's new painting, Boots, shows a Vishla at its finest, taut, intense, and laser focused. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again somewhere in the Upland Nation, I'll see you at scotlindenoutdoors.com. I've learned the hard way that a dog naturally wants to bring shot birds back to you unless you do something to kibosh that desire. Try keeping your hands in your pocket for a moment once pup shows up with a bird. Bill's tip might add a bird to your bag. Get in on the discussion at scotlindenoutdoors.com. Watch videos, play games, get free stuff and prizes too. Join the Upland Nation at scotlindenoutdoors.com. I'll see you there. I welcome my brother Jeff to the Upland Nation on a California quail hunt. Okay. Noise, smoke, birds, dogs, it's about time he got in on the fun. For a rank amateur, he does pretty good and even hits a couple birds. I'm Scott Linden, and we're at Red Bank Ale and Quail for a family reunion and adrenaline overdose, fellowship and fun. All coming up next time on Wing Shooting USA.